example, we have hook. Hook is a curved device used for catching and holding things. We're going to see. This is a hook, okay? So next one. We have a treasure, okay? That is the valuable things, usually in the form of a sword or a precious metals, precious stones or money, okay? That is the treasure. Then we have the life saver, okay? The life saver is this object, okay, that saved your life, they keep you safe for growing, okay? Then we have a sword. A sword is a weapon with a long, sharp metal blade and a handle, okay? That is a sword. So can you repeat with me? Hook, okay, hook. Then we have treasure, okay, like the money. Lifesaver, repeat after me. Life saver, and then we have a sword. Very good, let's continue. Then we have a deck, okay, as you can see here. Deck, deck is a floor that goes from one side of a chip to the other. It's all of this part that is a deck, okay? Deck, a floor that goes from one side of a chip to the other, okay? That, all of that part is the deck. Then we have the anchor, okay? Then we have an anchor. Anchor is this heavy metal object with a strong rope or chain that is dropped down for a boat into the water to prevent if it's moving away, okay? So the anchor is this heavy metal object, okay? So can you repeat after me? And code. And then we have deck. Then we have the eye patch. Okay, the eye patch. The eye patch is that object that use the pirate, okay, to protect the eye. So the a the eye patch. And then we have the bird. Okay, so that is the hair that grows on a man's face, over not including the mustache. Okay, it's only these. Part, okay, the hair that grows on a man's face, but don't include the mustache, okay? Very good. So let's continue. Here we can see the different objects that are related to the pirate story, right? Very good. So, as you can see in the online class, we saw about two kinds of verbs, right? Remember that when we talk about something that happened in the past, we are going to have two kinds of verbs, okay? The first kinds of verb that we can find is the regular, okay? The regular are all of that objects, all of that verbs that finish with ed, okay? For example, play, work, dance, cook, love, okay? As you can see, all of them here in color red and with ed, okay? So if you have a verb with an ending in ed, you know that that is in past and that is regular, okay? As you can see, we have the same four of the word, but then we have the other kinds of verbs that are the irregular. This verb, remember, that change its form, okay? It can be completely, as you can see here in the regular, they don't change, but in the irregular, they change. For example, eat in present is eight, in past, go. In present, for example, I go to the school. In past is I went to the school. Then we have run is in present. Run is in past. Have in this moment in the present and has in past. And then we have make and then we have made in past. So as you can see, it's a big difference, right? In the regulars, then we keep we can keep the form of the word, but finish with ed, okay? All the words are going to finish in ed. And the regulars, the form of the verb is going to change, okay? Ready? Very good, let's continue. So now, for example, here we have some examples. The captain used a sword, okay? The captain used a sword. So if you can see the verb, finish with ed, so that means that this is a regular verb, but it's something that happened in the past, okay? Very good. Now we have, 
Yesterday I ate pizza. Yesterday I ate pizza. When? Yesterday. Not in this moment, not in the present, okay? But the action in present is it. So in past is ate. So what did you eat yesterday? Very good. 